Right, guys, this is attempt number two for this recording. First game, uh, I was up against a Baron, you know, as Ares, because I'm trying to show off the Tier 5 Ares skin. And here's the thing about Baron, all right? He doesn't have any escapes, so Ares doesn't counter him in that way. He has a CC immune ult, so that sucks. He has slow immunity, or slow cleansing, I don't know which one it is, I forget, for his two, which is incredibly good against Ares. Um, he has... And then, of course, um, I can't get away from Baron. Baron does so well against Guardians because Guardians don't have escapes. So the only counter I have is when he ults me, I ult and run into him. And then I can pull um, him if he I can't get away from Baron. That's the only Baron thing so I well have against Guardians match, because Guardians with don't Baron have escapes. And stuff, I, just, I just decided to F6 early because there was just no chance. It wasn't... I felt like... It wasn't very useful, and that's the thing about Ares is most matchups are going to be bad. You're not going to be able to ban out everybody, so. Um, like, I'd rather ban Ares than Baron, but it still sucks, you know? No god will question I want a god. I want to go up against god with at least one escape. Like, that'll be so helpful. But anyways, the skin's really cool. Plus, I was forgetting to use the voice lines and stuff. Like, what's even the point of showcasing my skin if you're not going to show the voice lines? So. Oh, we're against Ymir? Anyways, this game's right, really cool. We're Plus, I was forgetting to Guardian use Guardian. Guardian. Alright, like... next game. So... Oh, we're against Ymir? Well, that's why I hate Guardian vs. Guardian, is that most most Guardian vs. Guardian matchups, one guy, one of the gods wins no matter what. And I'm pretty sure Ymir's gonna win this because he frees me out of my flames, frees me out of my chain, so I can't use them again. And he has CC immune ult. Like, come on. <laughs> Alright. So, we're up against Chernabog, which is a very strong hunter, but he has an escape. He has an escape. And, 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 hang on, hang on. Not only does he have an escape, but he's a Grandmaster Chernabog. So, this match is going to be amazing, I can tell. Okay. Uh, this is attempt number three. Sucks that he can use his abilities right away, right when he lands. Guys, boots. Oh shoot! Never mind. I forgot Trin Bucket uses three to immune my ult. Oh my god! You're kidding me! I forgot about that. Oh, this matchup's way worse than I thought it was. No, come on. I just want one good matchup with Ares. It's like we're all going against a player that's better than us and. He has that crazy counter. Come on. Okay. Attempt number four. Okay, this god can't counter ult us. He has an escape. Uh. He can't go into a wall and immune my immune my entire I ultimate. My he choice. doesn't have crazy sustain. I think we found our match. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I don't want that. Uh. Let's start defense. I don't know. All right, this is the match. There's no way. There's no surprises. There's no way. This has got to be it. This has to be it. This has to be it. There's there can be no surprises coming from Trinunos at all. Maybe it should start horrific. The only thing about that is though is the minions will just absolutely destroy me. I won't be able to brace her. This is like the best matchup we're gonna get because there's no way we're gonna get go we're gonna go up against Fenrir there's no way we're gonna go up against Serket no way we're gonna go up against a Willux but this matchup is not that bad it's very doable all right awesome <laughs> missed that's fine Try and split up my wave a little bit for him, make it more difficult for him to clear. Oh, I think we got a first blood. Mm. Got him. Yes. Yes, I knew this was a matchup. So with the Chernabog matchup, I completely forgot that Chernabog can go into walls, but here we go. I don't care if we don't win the game. I just want to be able to at least get a kill. There we go. Oh, my lord. 
I don't mind showing losses and stuff. It's just when the matchup is I can't do anything, I, I, I don't feel like it's very useful at all. And against Baron, I can't do anything. Against Ymir, I can't do anything. Against uh, Chernabog, I thought I could do stuff, but then I forgot that he just goes with the wall. Yes, now we're doing what Ares does. But he does best. This is good. Usually I don't level up my two, but I feel like we're going to be tanking a lot. Alright, we can actually maybe go for... Oh. Hmm. Is he staying? I'll try and keep the minions back here if he's staying. His beats are down. So, like, the second we hit level five, I'm ulting him. Alright. Never mind. He's back. Finally a matchup, I feel like I can do something well. Greetings. Show a little bit of the voice back. Yeah, sorry if my commentary is not too good, but this is the fourth matchup I've tried doing a full, you know, recording for, but just the first three matches, I, I'm gonna show a little bit in this video. They were just, I really couldn't do anything at all. Nice attempts for the Jukes. I can appreciate that. Look at the ultimate. The ultimate is so good. Oh, yes. What he could have done is he could have actually threw his ult on. Oh, no. He's not level 5. Never mind. Never mind. What he can do is that when I ult him, he can throw his ult right on top of me. That way when I pull him, I, you know, I turn into a pig and I can't do anything. That's a decent counter he has. I'm three levels ahead. All right, but this matchup's not very even, so now it's like, oh, I want to... Oh, I accidentally canceled my flames. Oh, my God. I accidentally canceled my flames. It's like I want an even matchup, but it's just not going to happen as Ares. As he gets to the late game, though, it's going to get closer to be even. Can't believe I canceled my flames. That slowed down that clear so much. Also, people always ask me why you don't build Mystical Mail and why I don't build Mystical Mail in Ares. Okay, so it costs 2,700. Nemean costs 2,200. So it's 500 gold less, right? Let's look at Mystical Mail's base stats. It gives 40 protections. The 300 health is nice. The crowd control is nice, but it only gives 40 protections. Whereas Nemean gives 70. Nemean gives almost twice as many protections as Mystical Mail. It's like, N Mystical Mail isn't even, like, the health's nice and stuff, but... I feel like Nemean's a way better defense item. And it's like, with Ares passive, yeah, you get the power. But it's so expensive to get online, and it's only good early game. If you rush it, you're not going to get online. You're going to fall so far behind, because you're not going to have anything up until it's up. So you're going to fall behind. And it's not good late game, so it's like, when do you build it? I ult him again. Oh, way to use the speeds. That's good. Oof. That's a nice juke. Very smart, very smart. So that's why I don't like building this command in Ares. I only build it against assassins and rarely that. Nice juke. I do have my chains on instant cast. I feel like they're easier to hit that way, but still obviously can miss them. When you're only up against Ares and you only have to focus on Ares, it's pretty easy to juke his chains. Ooh, I got a sash there. Got him. If uh, if I was going to die to tower there, I could have canceled my flames and uh, bracered, and my chains would have killed him. So I was safe there either way. Which is good. Okay, I got it back. Can't take red buff. Look at all those minions. Mm. Get this. Spear of the Magus is so good on Ares. You shred with it. If I played the early game of this Eternal Bog matchup better, I would have maybe had a chance. But it's just like my ultimate is completely useless. So like it's not even going to do the damage. And then I was up against a Grandmaster. So it's like, nope. <laughs> but the other matchups were just insanely bad as well. 
That's the thing about Ares Duel is that most matchups are gonna be auto losses, and that's just the way it is. Sometimes, sometimes it'll go up against Cernudos, uh, and it's not horrible. Like it's bad, but it's not the worst thing in the world. I can maybe secure this with my chain. Catch him out here with the early chain or an alt. Got him. That's good. There's no escaping. Got him. Also, when you're chaining, very, 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 very important to do the auto attacks in between. Early game, you can do uh, chain, auto, wait a bit, uh, uh, chain. Um, but as your attack speed gets a little bit higher, you can do chain, auto, auto, chain, auto, auto, chain. And it adds like an extra... 200 damage or so like let's see how much my basic attacks did basic attacks did 300 damage so you think if i didn't auto attack him at all he would have had a fourth of his health back so it's like the chain the auto attacks really do help also uh we just uh leveled up again this is the next form for the it you can hear the shield more in the voice pack i think now I think it's a little bit louder, I don't know. But the final form has a completely different voice pack. The skin is very cool. And you can't use a special emote until you're level 20. The 2 effect, that's pretty cool too. I love the ultimate animation though. So good. So good. Got his beats again. I, I didn't even think he would beat there. I'm really happy he did. Because I didn't have my chains up. I had no kill potential there. I was just... You know, trying to get his beads, I guess. I don't know. I didn't think he would, though. I thought it was worth it to try. I'll be honest. I kind of did think his beads were down, but either way, he beads were good. I'll be honest. I can't. I can't BS. I, I didn't think his beads were up. <laughs> All right. Oh, we missed. It's like, yeah, we're four and zero, but look at the tower. It's still full health. So we need to get up. We need to get a poly pretty soon. Uh -oh. I need to get a poly pretty soon. Oh no, I missed. That's really bad. That's really soon. Maybe we can bait him here. No, I can't. I can't. If I had a little bit more health, I could. But I'm not gonna kill him. I need a divine rune as well pretty soon. Okay, now we're gonna just absolutely shred him. I'm gonna wait till he gets a relic. If he doesn't get sprint, I'm gonna get horrific. So after Divine Rune, we're getting poly because we need some tower push. Then last item, we'll probably get another defense item like Nimian. And that'll be a very good build. Or even, uh, I like rushing Jade Emperors on uh, Ares as well. It's pretty good. I like doing that against Assassins though. Jade Empress is a very undervalued item because, yeah, it doesn't give that, you that many protections. But by lowering their power by 30, you're actually lowering their damage by a lot. Then, especially since they don't have any pen, without that power and without any pen, you reduce their power by a crazy amount. I'm, somebody did the math, and it's like it's like more worth it than in the Nian in the early game in terms of the damage you're preventing. I'll have, to, I'll have to look it up. I, I Don't take my word on that, because I, I don't know exactly. I see a mage's cloak. It's very smart. I don't like getting... I don't. I think mage's cloak against Ares isn't that great of an idea. I figure just upgrade your beads, right? But when you don't have a CC mid all, oh, I guess it's pretty useful. I could get a mantle to deal with that, but it's like my mantle's never gonna go off when I'm in range of him, you know. I, what I used to do is I used to get, if you guys remember the relic hand of the gods, it would stun gods around you for one second. I used to get that to deal with mage's cloak, but but now it's now hand of the gods isn't a thing, so it's not really much else I can get. If he was magical, I could get Ansel, but he's not magical. It doesn't work on triples, though. 
Oh, but that doesn't cleanse damage. <laughs> I think he beads also. I think he beats and uses... Well, I, I guess his Mage's Cloak is still up then. That's actually smart. Beads when your Mage's Cloak is up. That way, Mage's Cloak will actually save you when you need it. That's actually pretty smart. Because the Beads is on a longer cooldown. Alright, we got it back though. Yep, it doesn't cleanse damage though. Pretty good. All right, we the next form is at level 16. So they did it at level 6, level 11, and then level 16. That way you can actually see the ultimate on the first level. But the, the animations completely changed from the final form, which we're almost there. We're almost there. Ooh, I could have maybe got him there. So if you guys didn't know this, when you chain somebody, your two gives bonus protections. And uh, what, the, what I didn't know about this before is that you can actually use your two and then chain them. And you'll still get the bonus protections. You don't have to chain them first. It's based on who is currently chained. So if you chain someone and then use your two at the end of it, you don't get the bonus protections even though they were chained when you fired the abilities. It's something I learned recently. See, we're absolutely shredding him. I could have maybe ulted. I could have used my bracer and then ulted and killed him, but that's unfortunate. That's what I should have done. Or use my uh or walked into his ult and used my thorns. It could have worked too. Alright, now we need Polly so we can actually take objectives. He's gonna take red buff, but that's okay. See, we're five and zero, oh, and it's, we still not close. We're still not close to winning. So, Aries, that's just that's just how Aries is, man. Sometimes it's not that good. He is one of the worst gods in duel, but he's fun. You can also use those through walls. Super helpful. Might kill him. Ah. The reason that killed him. Oh, we got the next form now. The reason that killed him is that uh, all of his protections were gone because of the Spirit of Mages. Look at this skin, it's so good. Now it's the shield talking, so the shield's kind of taken over Ares. You can hear Ares struggling, but the shield is now in control. This is a very cool skin. I was doubtful about it, but it's good. Originally, I wasn't going to get the tier 5. But then a friend of mine, Ness, he gifted me 8,000 gems and said, use it on Odyssey. So that's what I did. Ooh, I tried canceling my flames early there and then chaining him. So he wouldn't expect it. Didn't work, though. Very hard to hit Ares when he's like in this form. Because he's floating. They're yeah, very nice ages. Very nice ages. All right, all right. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, please let me back. Please let me back. Please let me back. Please let me back. Oh. Dude, we might die. We only have 150 health. He doesn't have a real defense item yet, so I'm still like shredding him. I'm actually doing true damage to him. When I chain him. My, I'm doing true damage to him because Fear may just give 65 pen technically when all the stacks are on him. So, what if we got a, what if we didn't get another defense item and I got like a Rod of Tahuti? Ooh. Ooh. That would do a lot of damage with my tick damage. Does it fire on every single tick? It increases the damage? I don't know. But it sounds pretty interesting on Ares. I don't like Route 2D, but it actually sounds pretty good here. Like, even if he does get a defense item. That's what I don't like about Mage's Cloak, is it takes an entire item slot. Like, yeah, it's a good item, but it takes an entire item slot. His base stats are almost non-existent. Also, we can't use Special Emote until level 20. We're not there yet. It lets you filter between uh, which form. 
I personally, I like this form. Feels like it makes it easier to juke. Hmm. Oof, he's actually doing a lot of damage now. Oh, I got him, but he killed me. Oh. You know what? No, we can't do that. I need it. I need a Nemean. I need Nemean. There's no way. <laughs> we're, we're, getting, we're taking too much damage right now. Our two gives us f almost 40 protections, which is pretty good. We can take Bull Demon now with Polly. It's just that it gets stolen so easily. We would more try to take Bull Demon to try to bait him. Oh, that is not a ward. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, this skin's way better than I thought it was going to be. I didn't use the jokes or taunts, but you know. That's supposed to be a joke. Oh, that's a long joke. <laughs> Let's see the top. Ooh. Ooh. Pretty spooky. That's his beads. The thing about Mage's Cloak is he can use his beads more often for that. Like, he would have taken so much damage. He's still gonna take a lot of damage. Oh, never mind. I missed. Did he just slow me? That hurts a lot. Mm, I have double defense. Oof, I think Ares' time is starting to dwindle a little bit. Alright, let's if we upgrade this. I mean, if we get a potion. We need to upgrade our bracer, then our thorns. Hmm, is he getting kinsize? I don't have very much health, so kinsize won't absolutely destroy me. Like, I didn't build a single health item. Oh, this is difficult. I got seven and one. I should be able to beat him now. Let's see. I'll clear this wave that maybe try to bait him towards Bolden. His beads are down, his cloak is up, though. I feel like ulting him as much as I can is not the way to go. Because the thing is, when you ult him and he's still full health, he's going to absolutely take most of my health when I do that, you know? What I like about using Ares Flame is if you just use your poly shot, then use flames. By the time the flames is over, poly is up again. I should, I should use my one first. Then more damage. Alright, he's taking my tower, but if I take if I take a uh, Bulldemon, it's completely worth it. Oh, but if he takes my Phoenix, it's not worth it. Oh my god, don't take my Phoenix, don't take my Phoenix, don't take my Phoenix. Oh, I didn't think. Oh no. Okay, I guess we're pushing up. We don't have a choice. We don't have a choice right now. If we don't take the Phoenix, we lose a game. Dang it, man. Uh, that's the only thing is that it takes way too long to get Bull Demon. Can we even clear wave? I can barely clear wave. I feel like I need a bank frost or something just for sustain. Oh, he hurts way too much. This is not fair. Oh my god, did I just lose? No, come on. No! 40 seconds? What? I'm dead for 40 seconds. Oh, that is not fair. Uh, there was nothing I could do. I tried going for Bull Demon so I could finally take Phoenix because he's tiring so much. But he took the time to take my tower and Phoenix. 
which sucks. I thought he would only get my tower. I even cleared the wave. I could have taken building away faster, but I was trying to time it with my poly shots, and I actually ended up dwindling my damage because of my cooldowns. Wait, that's not game. Where did he... Did he go for a red buff? You're not... Oh my god, he went for a red buff. He could have ended. He could have ended. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's upgrade our relics. He could have ended. He could have totally ended. Where's my health, man? I still didn't lose. Like, I have double defense and, you know, he's doing way too much damage. Oh my god, man. <laughs> oh, wow, he got his damage online all at once. I don't care. He got Execution Titans Bane, that's why. Uh, even though those items suck together, it just, it's, it just doesn't matter. He didn't even have a single defense item. I should have been able to... Sh like, he had Mage's Cloak. I should have been able to shred him, but I wasn't. Because of the fire minions were there. GG. I messed up really badly at the end. But, it's like my fourth time trying to attempt this game. So, I don't care. <laughs> GG.